Right, this is the getting on procedure for home hemo neck stage using the neckline. Uh, and Michael's going to tell you what he does. Right, now I jam my hands. Using Purell. Purell. Then I open the packet. And in this is you get two syringes, a little cup thing what you don't need, and then some gauze. Now I just open the antibacterial wipes onto the thing. <laughs> Get some tape. Put the gloves on the thing as well because you need them after. Let it drop out like that. Should say before this, he's already done his hand wash, so his hands are already clean. Now you got to grab this cover by the corner and keep, to keep it clean. So as you can see there's the blue there and then the white there. You've got to grab it from the white bit because that's got to be sterile, sterile, the blue bit. So you just grab it like that and then you've got to make sure you don't grab the blue. And then keep it so well. And now this goes under my breath, under my line. Just get some tape so it stays there. You get the gloves now. Almost forgot. Right here, when you put the gloves on, you can't touch the top bit what you're going to touch the other stuff so you have to slide your hands inside it inside it like this move that a bit i can't see that's right mm. I'll grab it keep hold of this bit what's folded and then i find this bit a lot difficult than it should be there we go all the way in. Just do the same with the other one. Same with the other one, but you can. It's a bit easier because you can get this hand and then cuff the the bit where it's folded, and then put your hand in like. That. In training, it's the worst bit. And you got it. Then you move that away. You get two antibacterial wipes. And what you do now is clean the line, the end bits, and you have to clean the the clamps as well. Now you open the red one first the red thing line yeah mm -hmm. and then you scrub the hub that's that's what the nurse used to say yeah just the end bit so it's just the end bit you give it a good scrub this bit's very important because there's going to be all like dry blood on it just keep using the Get the syringe. Easy if you just open it and close it there so it's not hard to pull open. And you and you attach it. Open the clamp. Open the clamp, then you first bit you take up to about three mils 
And what that's doing is getting all the air out and just checking if all the blood flow is. So you open it. After you've closed the clamp, obviously, don't take it off while the clamp's yeah. open. Otherwise, you're going to have blood everywhere. Now, you can touch this because everything's clean. And then you just put the blood out there. Dab it. Attach it again. Open the clamp. And then open it see how the blood flow is and then shoot back in sometimes you might get air so you just don't put it all the way in and then you just leave it if you get blood on your hand you can just keep sw wiping it so there's blood so i'll just wipe it with a clean bit and then you do the same with this one the blue, blue one. one. You open it. Scrub the hub. Open clamp. See the blood flow. Because this will tell you if it's going to be bad or not. And it tells you what the other lines will connect to because the the red the red one will need to go to the best flow so that's going on again so i think the best flow was the red one so you clamp it you clamp that one as well now you just let it stay there now this part is where my partner has to wash her hands when she comes back, she's going to pass me the lines. Right, now I'm connected up. My girlfriend has to um, unclamp the red and the blue because I wasn't allowed to touch it. And I'll, I'll just show you them, hang on. The red and the blue. Yeah. And then I unclamp mine. And now she has to press the little kidney that's on the machine. So, the green one. Yeah, that's just to set everything up, okay? So just press that. Give it quite a firm press. And now what you do now is wait for the blood to go in, go all the way through the tubes to the kidney. And then that's when I will, that's when I will put my pump speed up to 300. It's only at 200 at the minute. And 300 is the most a neckline can have that, to clean that fast. Yeah. So all I did anyway is when the red and blue were attached to there, I clamped them both, used antibacterial wipe, I unattached the red one first, scrubbed it, handed it to him, and then he attached it, and then I clamped the, the blue clamp, unattached it from there, scrubbed it, handed it to him. Oh. Hang on, we've just got an alarm. Alarm. So that's 35 and I think that's the waistline pressure too high. Yeah. So all you have to do is check the waistline down. Press silence which is the yellow button. Press stop. Press stop. Sorry it's not very focused. Right. And then I go and check the waistline. Just check all the uh, clamps are on um, open. Check it's all attached, it's not too tangled. Just get all the air out. Yep. The machine alarm just to tell you. To hurry up. Yeah. Oh, she's so back. So now I've done all that, you can press go again, which is the green kidney, and see if it worked. And then that's all you really have to do. For that particular alarm. And then now I'll be back when I'm taking myself off.